Welcome back to Maya Quick Tips. In this episode, I'll be showing you guys how to quad patch holes in surfaces easily while matching the curvature. Here are three examples where I use this quad patch technique. The main tools that was used for this technique is poly edge to curve and boundary. So let's start with the sphere first. So first you would need to select a edge group to form the patch. So usually I start with the left to right. So start edge and then end edge for the first curve. Usually how I determine this is by the sharpness of the corner. So anything that is more than nine, like 90 degrees angle, that's usually how the edge groups, where the edge stops and starts. So modify, convert, poly edges to curve. And also just make sure when you're converting, have it set to linear instead of cubic. So continue making that edge curve. Only edges to curve. Do the same thing up below. You can just hit the G key to repeat last command. Then hit this one. Then this one. Convert poly edges, polygon edges to curve. Now, once you have all the curves that forms the boundary, I'm just isolating so that it's easier to see. And then you go to with the curve selected, go to surfaces, and then click the boundary option box. By default, it it has output geometry set to NURBS. But what you need is to set it to polygons from type triangles to quads and then from standard fit to control points and then apply it. You notice that the normals are flipped, but that's that's OK. You can change it here by going into the attribute editor, NURBS tessellate node, and then click match normal directory. And then it will be facing the correct direction now. So clear the history. And then you can remove the curves now. You don't need it anymore. So all you have to do as a final last step is to combine the geometry and the patch and then just merge those unwelded vertices. And now you have a plot patched sphere. I just hit three smooth to double check to see if there's anything wrong with the surface and it looks fine. So then we'll be moving on to the next one, which is like a curved wavy plane. And to start is quite similar to the last geo where you s click, you start from the corner. I usually start from left to right and then select the end edge and double click and then go to modify convert poly edges to curve and do the same thing from this one to this one poly edge to curve g key same thing for the bottom as a best practice you should have each uh edge group the same amount of edge selected so here you can see one two three four five six seven then the one that's parallel from it should also be seven one two three four five six seven and the same for the sides one two three four five six seven one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. So back to the curves. With the curves already created, go to surface and then boundary. And then go to fix the normal directory. And now you have a quad patch that follows the curvature of the source plane. And you can simply just do delete the curves, combine it, merge vertices, clear history, and then just hit three to see if there's any breaks in geo. Now moving on to this cylinder where there's many cases where users want to quad patch the cylinder so what you do here is okay look at it if the sides are even first it says 16 edges so it's an even number so you can easily quad patch it by dividing it by four so by four would be four times four is 16 right so one two three four and then go to modify convert poly edges to curve and the same thing from starting from this edge to this edge. One, two, three, four. And then G key to create the curve. And then starting from this edge to this edge. And then finally, the last curve. Now with the curve selected, clear the history, and then go to surface boundary again. And there you have it a quad patch circ cylinder. So do the same thing. Combine, select the vertices, merge. And just fix the normals a bit by going to soft and hardened edge. So there will be times where you will have a mesh where it has a curved silhouette, but the bounding edges is flat. Now you might think it won't be, um, it will be like, just like the other meshes where you simply just select the right amount of edges and creating a curve and then just hot patch it. But I'll show you what happens if you just do that. So simply, I'm just going to duplicate it so that I have a backup copy. And then I'm just going to work on this one. So let's say I want to turn this whole top section of this capsule looking object, capsule box or whatever you call it, and f turn this section to quads. So let's say I remove that and I want to rebuild that top, but with just quads. Okay, so it's even the amount of edges, as you can see, selected the border. I would most likely pick from this point to this point and then modify, convert all the edges to curve. And then do this same thing here. Hit G key. And then I'm gonna do the sides. Now that we have the curves created, okay, I'm just gonna select by order. Okay, I'm gonna hide this just a sec. One, two, three, four. And then mesh. And then surfaces, and then click boundary. Well, it created a boundary, but if you unhide the cylinder, you notice it just flattens 
the whole geometry and it's not really giving that curvature anymore so what you need to do is take the original and transfer the curvature back to the newly created topology so to do that you want to add some more divisions while keeping it quads so the way that i would approach it is you might not have noticed this function extra function of the tool that i'm about to show you so i'm selecting roughly the edges that i need to add divisions to and then just remove the excess edges and then we're going to shift right click into edge loop but with option box so by default it has auto complete on what auto complete does it will auto add complete the edge insert edge for you but if you click click it off and then with these edges selected and click on it you notice it'll still work on these non loop areas like not con non uh, ring areas like it's not a continuous ring so once I click that and I press enter, when you turn off the auto complete and have fixed quads on, it will auto connect and turn the this face into a quad. And then what you want to do once you add it more subdivisions, you want to simply select this and deselect or you can do this first this might be easier so select the edge border and then convert the selection convert selection to vertices and then after that you want to inverse the selection and just have the inside vertices selected and then just do average vertices until it's really relaxed once that's done you can just clear history on that combine with the cylinder sorry not cylinder combine with the mesh with the open border you want to patch combine it merge vertices And then select the child and then the source go to deform shrink wrap and then let's just make it easier to see by applying a different material with transparency on so you can better see So now you it looks kind of strange right but no no problem just go to shrink wrap change the projection to vertex normal and bi-directional and then close this if no interrupt see it's starting to conform back to the original shape but it's lag uh it's lacking some uh extra divisions here so no worries so simply select the original add another edge loop here then run the shrink wrap again and make sure to have vertex normal by direction So if you isolate and have this selected, you have a pretty decent retopped cap that matches 
pretty closely if you look at the shading. Pretty handy, right? Nicely quadded and matching the surface curvature of the source object. With this technique, you can easily quad patch any surfaces with holes, just as long as it has the even amount of edges, without the need of manually cutting and connecting edges to form quads. Thanks for watching and please hit the like and subscribe button for more quality content. And don't forget to check out my Gumroad page and ArtStation store.